I want to know how many of you people go out on the streets looking to kick someone's fucking ass. Maybe a couple of posers, you know. Head on down to the local disco and hang out and waste a couple of people. Have a couple of drinks, get wasted. I want to hear it from every single person in here. If you like metal, the heaviest it gets, I want to hear you fucking scream! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah!
All right, we're sitting here, as is very obvious, in the bowels of Studio 54, believe it or not. And this is, uh, this is the ultimate revenge for disco tonight. I'm sitting with two members of Venom. Who are mostly housebroken. Not final training yet, though. Food! Fucking fraggles? Can we say fuck? Oh, fuck. Yes. Right. Fuck. It's for the home. <laughs> Feel free to say fuck. Collectively, you have a stronger image or a stronger personality than you do individually. That's something we've said all the time from the start was this band works as a solid unit. Yeah, it's an ensemble. Like a brick. As, yeah, yeah, it's like a brick. It's like, you, you know, it, it's just a solid unit which works as parts. It's, you know, I'm not a good drummer. He's not particularly a good singer, but put it all together and it works as a unit. Mm. So and the sum is greater than, than the parts. Since, right. since the day we began, the Venom concept was we are a brick. And what you do is you've got like this area of land over here and you take the brick and you throw it and it goes bang. And then you pick the brick up and throw it over there again. And then you pick it up from there and you throw it up. And like, that's how Venom works. You, you, you land on a town, you land somewhere, you hit it, and you there's hit it. Venom. The full thing. And then like off to the line. next town. It's a, an old story that the dev has the best tunes. And that's, that's the way we see it. I mean, we, 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 write, we write strong lyrics about um, all sort of happenings, all things that have gone in the past and uh, interesting things. Things, you know, that, um, that you read in Satanic Bible, that you read it from LeVay, mm -hmm. that you read from Crowley. So basically that's it, we're writing strong lyrics about a strong subject. You get the likes of uh, King Billy, as we call him. Yeah. And uh, King Wanker. The, the guy, like, uh, he's just, he's got it all wrong, his heart's in it. He's really going for it, he thinks he's doing right in that, but the thing is, you can't turn around and say to the kids, right, uh, we're gonna fucking rip virgins' heads off. So I mean, mean what no the thing. hell is the point of that? You mean there's no truth of the rumor you're gonna sacrifice Madonna on stage tonight? Oh, I'll, I'll sacrifice her. I'll fuck her on stage sacrifice tonight. Her. <laughs> Why sacrifice Sac her? Sacrifice her over a bass drum. Sacrifice her over a bass drum. Oh, yes. Yeah. She <laughs> wouldn't die, I would bring her back for an encore, you know? <laughs> Uncle Jack says, uh, uh, really yeah. happening drink. <laughs> Buy some, drink it. No problem. Drink this, you'll fall over. <laughs> I probably did. All right. This next song is another fast one. But aren't they all? This one's called Metal Command.
about killing posers and just nice things like that. It's what's called Exodus.
starting to look like shit. <laughs> Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, there. Yeah.
puckery lips, stick up here. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, grab oh, your crotch. Oh, oh. oh, yeah. Gnostic front. DRI. Uh, verbal abuse. Black flag. People like that. Just the, uh, the stuff that pounds in your head. Just exactly what we do. That's amazing. Exploited. Dude, oh. we, got, we got a beer break here. Oh, beer break. Oh, this, this beer sucks. <laughs> But it's oh, free, you know, so it's free. free. Uh, What's the amount of There's one thing. Like? The other bands, they change their style of music. We're not going to change our style of music for a major label. That'll lose a lot of people. Ow. No, we're going to the no. dump. Is very, that a spiritual feeling? <laughs> very religious experience. It's um, a religious experience. Go to Baghdad. Yeah, go to Baghdad. <laughs> comes in here and eats all our food. No, I mean, our music is uh, oh, wow, inspired by more well, punk. Classical. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> did you did you get that? <laughs> bravo! Yeah, come on, bravo! Good stuff. We like Bach. Yeah, your music seems to be involved Bach. in a way that classical arrangements were also. Yeah, we like a lot of Bach. And Bach. 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 Especially Bach. Beethoven. But you laugh, huh? Jacob. We're serious. Yeah. I want to grow my hair and work in a hospital. Then we got you know, a chest therapist or whatever you yeah. do. Breast analogies. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I took it from there and just let it all fall into place. And what inspires Slayer to do what you do? Speed. 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 Aggression. Aggression. Driving through New York and rich. The night is young, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all have yet to await the arrival of the Antichrist. <laughs> This is one I understand seems to be picked up by quite a few of you. I have one question. Have you learned the words to our songs? 
You have waited this long. Hell no longer awaits.
We must refrain from warfare In the heavens and in hell We must live through chemical warfare
That's the, best, the, the best thing, thing coming come to see the band live. Right. Probably he's looking for the stage show. You get Venom fans who like the thrash thing that we do, the fast songs. You get the Venom fans who like the slow, powerful tracks that we do, and you get the other fans, the newer, the newer fans, who like the sort of more intricate stuff that we do. So obviously when we do an album, we like to vary the types of songs that we we'll play, just to, to please a, a wider variety of public. We went, it's, it's we went case for the speed metal thing, it's... for this, being the speed metal band, that's how we, the band started. And uh, of the sort of fast job, you know. But um, you'll see tonight, when, when we go out, the songs which will get the biggest shout are going to be Buried Alive, and an Omni Satanus, which are slow two slow tracks, yeah. 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 you'll get the biggest shout. You know, the mm-hmm. press, when you read the press, it's like, oh, fast, 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 fast. But when you actually get out there on the stage, it's a different thing. I mean, I'm not saying the kids don't like the fast tracks, they do, they love them. But uh, going by reactions, the kids like the slower tracks, yeah. the, the sort of ones we're more feeling and the, the ones yeah. with more, you know, well, more well thought about and a bit more here and a bit more there, you know. The fast track's pretty off the cuff. It's a real bam, bam, bam. We go for it more, we f- probably go for it more, like we really hit it and really hit it. Rather than just trundling along like a, a speedy sort of job, you know. We can go for it more and the, the audience can feed off that. Fast track sweats more, you know, and like yeah. slow tracks is like, you know, it's like, time to take a breather, it's like an album. When we do an album, the album sort of goes, yeah. and you're sort of, where the hell am I? And that's the sort of same thing we like to do live. You know, you get into a few fast tracks and get the kids really sweating and that, talking to them a little bit and then sort of going, right, we're going to take it down and the kids are sort of like, oh, relief. You know, and then you back into a fast track and the kids are like, oh, fuck, no, no, no. Something you just said there about, like, it gives us a chance for a breather, that's not particularly true because no. we, we, put, we put that much more power in rather than sort of fast energy, we put that much more power into a slow track. So you don't, you don't get a breather, you, you don't get a breather, you simply oh, make it the audience a breather, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Back in 79 was when we first started getting ideas together and like, oh, what is this thing, band, let's, let's, let's make a band and let we've got these ideas and that, you know, it was like fucking, we just had to go out there and do our own thing and nobody else was doing what we were doing and everybody else had their own sound, their own way of doing things, whatever, now we came out and like now, how many bands have you got doing the black metal scene, the thrash, the thrash metal, death metal, speed metal, black metal, there's hundreds of bands doing it. As I said before, it's not a case of us changing to suit everybody else's needs, it's a case of other people change. I mean, we will never play a Deep Purple track, yet you could get Deep Purple playing one of our songs. That's where we look at it, mm-hmm. you know? Maybe everybody sits and uh, listens to that and says, uh, oh, bullshit, you know, but you never know. We won't change, we do what we do, and everybody is picking up on it. We've been doing gigs in Canada, and Slayer have been in the front row, banging their heads. So Voivod, Exodus are here tonight, they'll probably do the same thing. You don't put them, I would love to get them down for, You're not putting them down for that, but it's, we are playing what they want to see, we're playing what we want to see. We'd sooner be in a crowd. I'd rather you? be in the crowd. Be in the crowd. Mm-hmm. I can't that, go running up in the crowd. I don't need security because you get too many kids. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. At the very beginning, that's what we did from the outset. To put together a band that, we, that us three most want to see. That's it. We would most want to see. I mean, man, we love this show. It's not big enough. That's right. Right. No, I'll make it bigger. You know, I want to be shocked. No, put me in the middle of Right, there's the plans. There's the drawings. That looks like a good lighting rig. Let's see it really. You know, then you set the big lighting rig up and you go bigger. I'm not impressed. You know, so you go right. Money, we need money. Uh, great. Uh, right, let's get together. Sort of deals, uh, whatever, you know, do it. Get the money, get more lights, and then you turn around and you go, wow, fucking hell, look at that. I can play in that, you know, that's what I want to see, and that's what a lot of other kids want to see. And that's the I'm fortunate thing. Texas. What's that? <laughs> Sound like you're from Texas. Texas. I'm from everywhere. Make it bigger. <laughs> bigger, bigger. I was born everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> do you think you've had any sort of. Uh, any sort of effect on uh, on the punk scene, the hardcore scene, or yeah, yeah, especially yeah. in England, it's fucking wild. I mean, you know, we go out there and we've got these. We got we did the Hammersmith show where we did the video, the big polygram Hammersmith mm-hmm. video. Plug, plug, plug. Some gets held, get it, buy, buy it, it, buy it, have buy one, buy it, buy it, buy it. Nick one, and um, you know, <laughs> we were in the crowd. Uh, no, we weren't. We were on stage and there was people in the crowd, and uh, <laughs> we were in the crowd. There was just people on stage. <laughs> it's the drugs, Doug, and. Um, you know, those kids in the crowd, those all the long-haired kids with their denim jackets on and the logos, Motorhead, you know, Judas Priest, and they were getting right into the gig. There was guys standing there who had, like, totally bald heads and that tattoos all over their faces. That was my dad. Yeah, that was his dad. And they're jumping around, and then you've got the other guys with fucking spiky hair up here, looking like they've just jumped out of the Motley Crew or something, you know? Shit, yeah. And there was no fights. There was no barnies, brawls, whatever you want to call it. Everybody was there and enjoying the show, apart from the wankers that were at the front, which were like all little fucking three-year-old children, you know, which was fucking stupid. All the main people at the back. But away from that point, the kids, was there was three different audiences there and they got right into it. They loved it. That's something we don't get into. Is it's because we have this sort of like, this, this crowd which sort of expands all these different sort of cultures or whatever you call it, you know? 
We don't like to see people fucking bonding with each other in the crowd. We'll stop the gig and say, <laughs> you, you, you fucking leave off him while there's gonna be fucking hell on, and I'll be down there. If some kid wants to punch the shit out of some other kid, then I'm gonna say to the kid who's thinking he's fucking clever, kill me, come here, come here, God, I'll fucking kill you. Do you have anything else you want to, uh, you want to <coughs> spit into the camera? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it is. Die hard. <laughs>